everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you a fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. What well, one beautiful people? I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, and make sure you are subscribed down below. In today's video, it's gonna be a hair tutorial. It's a review and styling for this wig that I got from Eunice slash Eunice, however you like to pronounce it, dot com. And it is a V part wig that we are about to style today. Now, you guys probably wondering, we've heard of U parts, lace front, lace closure, half wigs, headband wigs, all type of different things, and now. We even had T-part, so now we're transitioning to V-part wigs. So what a V-part wig is, essentially, it's almost like a U-part, but it's shaped like a V, and it's supposed to mimic your roots. So there's no lace involved, no glue, no melting the lace, no none of that involved in these type of wigs. They lay flatter than a U-part wig, and it's supposed to give you like a almost natural type of finish when installing this wig. So there's different ways to wear a V-part wig. Some people like to do leave out. Um, some people like to wear it as is. Some do different styles. So I'm gonna try two different ways that I'm gonna try this wig and I'm gonna share that with y'all. So is y'all ready? So before we get into the details of this wig, can you go ahead and subscribe down below? I would love for you to be a part of this Jamaican, Caribbean, African, American, everybody type of channel. Okay, we got we got a bunch of things that go on over here. So make sure you're subscribed. Okay, we got that covered. So this is the hair that I got straight out of the package. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And I like to co-wash my wigs, a lot of my curly wigs, because you don't see the true curl pattern of the curly texture wig until you co-wash it. So co-washing is washing the hair without shampoo, just using conditioner. So I'm gonna revamp the hair. I'm gonna, you know, juice it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna style it up. I make it look real good for you. You guys ready? Yeah, we're gonna go on with that bag of things with this wig. Now, what I wanna mention, y'all probably hearing that click, 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 click of my lens. My lamented mic, is that what it's called, lamented? You know that mic that we put out here so that our lens don't be making that autofocus type of noise? The battery or something is wrong with it, so I'm just using a mic on top of my camera so the lens, you're gonna hear the lens, okay? I know a lot of people be in all about that ish. This hair is in 24 inches, so the density of this wig is 150%. So density is the fullness of the wig. I don't think I needed anything fuller than this because I got a P size shape head, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I, I don't need nothing too big, you know? Like I love me some Diana Ross and Shaka Khan type of big and fullness. But uh, I don't want to go bigger than that. I didn't get any shedding with this hair. So I'm going to show you guys the first style that we're going to do with this. So, you know, I got my little bun in the back. You can do cornrows if you wish to. I've seen a couple of videos on this wig. Because, you know, like, I myself was just familiar with what the heck was a V-part. Like, I'm going to just be real with y'all. So I had to go look and, like, is it like a U-part? Like, I'm trying to figure out what the difference was. So what I gathered is that... Um, initially, I was just going to clip the wig onto my hair like this, but it might be too flat. And it's going to give like a weird finish like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like two cornrows right here. And then we're going to attach the unit. So we're going to try with the front. So I'm going to do the back last because usually how I put on my wigs, I try to attach the back first, then work up. But we got combs in here and it's going to mess with what we're trying to do. So I'm going to start with the very front. So I'm going to put the first clip here. I'm going to try to tease the root. Try to lift my root a bit. Okay, so this is the one way a lot of people wear it. And I'm gonna be real, really child. I don't much it like this. This will be convenient if like, you know, you're on, you know, you style your hair a certain type of way. Or maybe you had like your birds going back and you wanted a wig, but you didn't want a lace front. So you didn't want a head body. You just wanted something quick, you know, something quick and easy. This would be the wig for you. Cause this was super easy to style. 
All right, you just tease the front and get it going. I don't have the time to be trying to get my natural four type hair to blend with this loose three A type of curl pattern going on, you feel me? But this is a great alternative without the glue and the hassle and all the other work that goes into styling a lace front top. Okay, for this second look, I'm gonna try a half of half down with this wig. So I'm just going to create a small section in the front. Like I don't want too much hair because I don't want too much of my hair to leave out. Because more hair you leave out, the more you have to do. I don't want to do a lot. Okay, now for this half of half down type of situation, we're going to treat this almost like a half wig. But what's perfect that it's not a half wig. If you don't know half wigs, it looks bulky at the front. With the V part, it's flat. So it should be somewhat of a more seamless finish so the top part doesn't look full. So I'll recommend if you're going to do this and you want it to last a really good amount of time to braid, actually braid the back. Now you can spray a little bit of that to, to secure your makeshift hair tie. Now to sleep my hair some more, you know, to try to make the texture blend a little bit better. I'm going to be using some got to be gel. And I'll put that directly on the ponytail. Now this might look scary at first because it's white, but it's supposed to dry through. Okay, now to finish, I'm going to spray some orange sheen onto the hair just to give it a finish professional type of look. And voila, there you have it. Two different ways to style your V part wig. And I promise you there is a ton of different ways to style these units. Like this hair is freaking bomb. You know, I love me a good curly hair. So I just put a little bit of water in the room just to tame it a little bit. Get the curls looking popping but unkept at the same time. I didn't want it to look, you know, like super defined. I just wanted it to look here free. And once it's dry, it's going to look even better. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Let me know which preference do you have that like you prefer to wear it 
without the weave out or would you like to wear it as a half up type of look like let me know down in the comments down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet you need to go ahead and subscribe down below all the details for this unit will be in the description box Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at down that share. One video for so, Bye guys. We sing heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you are fellow. Yeah, everything check, come stella.